All right, guys, I got something a little bit different for you here today. This is not a showed engine. This is a personal project of mine that I've been working on off the clock a little bit. This is my brother-in-law's 351 Windsor, so it's a Ford small block. It's a gas engine, but what we're going to be talking about still applies to diesel engines as well. So the story on this is this was supposed to be the good engine to replace the old worn out one, but uh, things went wrong. So the story goes that he bought this guy, this uh, block from a guy in a junkyard, I believe, and the engine had been re recently rebuilt, but had just been sitting for 10 years or so. And I immediately thought when I heard that red flag, I didn't trust it. So they were having issues out of it, uh, but not when they went to go check it out. They went and they got oil pressure, they got compression, there was no knocking or anything like that. Nothing bad happened until they put the engine in the truck. When they got the engine in the truck, got it up to temperature, there was this noise. And then there was also a loss of oil pressure at idle. So you can see he doesn't have oil pressure unless he's revving the engine. So he thought or maybe hoped that the problem was in the top end of the engine. So he replaced the lifters, but that didn't fix the issue. Then they pulled the engine out. They started to uh, look at things a little bit closer. That's when they called me and asked me for my help. When I heard this, I thought the bottom end was bad. So you guys tell me what you think and uh, we'll dive in. We'll see what's going on and uh, I'll show you some cool stuff.